friends, welcome to pre-market update. Uh, friends, what we are seeing since uh, last two consecutive days, Sensex is in uh, downward mode. We are seeing a lot of uh, profit booking ahead of the Brexit uh, referendum. Uh, Brexit referendum uh, 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 voting is ex expected to be uh, done today. Uh, its implications are uh, Britishers uh, uh, will vote whether they want to stay in the European Union or not. So it could have large repercussions if uh, uh, Britishers vote uh, moving out of uh, uh, moving out from the European Union, as uh, a lot of companies profitability and currency would be affected. Uh, so as a result, what we saw, Sensex is also down. Uh, Sensex was down almost 46 point, and uh, Nifty was also down 16 point. However, we saw small cap index was largely underperformed with with losses of 0.6 percent, while mid cap index was down in the vicinity of 0.1 percent. Um, in terms of prominent losers in the Sensex, uh, we saw uh, Tata Motors, uh, Gale, Hindustan Unilever, and ITC which were negatively effect, uh, affecting the Sensex, while countries which were positively contributed to gains in Sensex were TCS, HDFC, Adani Ports and Dr. Reddy's Lab. In fact, Tata Motors was down more than 3% as uh, there is a probability that a uh, substantial portion of the uh, business, uh, Tata, uh, Jaguar Land Rover is, has roots in uh, uh, London and, uh, sorry, in uh, Britain and uh, apart from that, uh, its revenue will be affected by a large because it doesn't get entry to the European Union if it were to exit Brexit region. And currency dynamics will also change if pound uh, depreciates or appreciate accordingly. So because of that, Tata Motors was also trading loosely and was uh, down almost 3%. Among the textile shares, uh, text, lot of textile shares which has ro rose up pre uh, on uh, Wednesday, so uh, had rose up on Tuesday and uh, some portion on Wednesday had lot of rocket booking has happened uh, ahead of the textile policy. In terms of FI flows, FIs were uh, buyers to the tune of uh, sorry FIs were the sellers to the tune of 41 crore in cash segment, while DIs were buyers to the tune of 361 crores. Now moving on to uh, global update, uh, what we saw Dow uh, index was down almost 49 points, Nasdaq was also trading marginally down with 11 point losses and S&P was also marginally down uh, with uh, losses of 3.45 points. Uh, Nikkei at this point in time is trading marginally up with gains of 0.41%, Hang Seng is also trading a little bit up with uh, marginally again, marginal gains of 0.23%, uh, Shanghai is trading marginally down uh, it's, uh, with losses of 0.1%, ASX at this point in time is trading marginally up uh, and uh, at 8 to 1, 3 levels, uh, that is 10 points up from previous close, uh, suggesting we might open on a flattish to marginal positive kind of note. Now friends, let's have derivative update. Good morning friends, will you analysis on derivatives. Uh, yesterday's market was one kind of a trading session where we've seen it a, a complete flattish kind of an uh, opening in yesterday's trading session and market then continued to trade in a narrow range and there was not much of uh, activity which was been observed in yesterday's trading session. Uh, Oxford went in positive and negative ter ter territory and my, uh, struggling to find any kind of an a trend on the intraday and also on the short term basis uh, due to the uh, major event of the break exit which has been scheduled for today and uh, uh, the referendum of break exit which has been scheduled today and the result will be out by tomorrow and due to which market has been awaiting for it quite eagerly and has not been uh, not been not been taking any kind of speculative bets and due to which market closed on a fl yet another trading session on a flattish note uh, with a loss of 0.24 percentage at 8205.05 managed to close just above 8200 odd levels. Put call ratio uh, it was down by around uh, uh, 2 to 2 and a half odd percentage that is we have seen a sharp decrease in the put call ratio in yesterday's trade by 4 basis point. That is when market showing some kind of a flattish kind of an uh, closing mainly due to uh, the uh, uh, event of uh, break exit and market doesn't want to take any kind of a speculative bets. While if you see the open interest, a constant reduction of open interest has been uh, uh, has been seen in the market. People are being uh, becoming very light in terms of open interest. If you see, uh, it's just uh, one crore eighty five lakh shares in the open interest and set one uh, one to two months or low at current juncture. And we have seen a five and a half odd percentage reduction in the open interest. In the absolute terms, uh, eleven odd lakh shares were shared in the open interest and cost of carry also dipped significantly uh, from uh, 3 percentage to uh, less than 1 percentage uh, that is Nifty premium is anywhere currently around 2 to 3 odd points uh, indicating majority of the unwinding which was seen in yesterday's trade was due to the long unwinding. 
uh, while volatility index have been higher by 5 percentage ahead of the event and it increased from 7.26 to 18.19 odd levels. On the options activity, again a not major activity to uh, highlight upon. Uh, there was not, uh, we have seen some kind of an unwinding in put option yesterday's trading session. Day before yesterday's trading session, we have seen unwinding in call option and now we have been seeing an unwinding in put option. Not much of activity to highlight upon. Uh, just uh, the major buildup of options continues to be uh, at 8,300 call option, 8,000 put option and they both continues to be the highest in terms of open interest for this series. Uh, therefore, securities in bank period for today's trade, CH Limited, JP Associates, uh, Jet Airways and India Bull Real Estate. On FIS front, index features again they were net sellers by 497 odd crores, and most of the selling part has been mainly due to the long unwinding pressure by the FIS as the open interest of FIS in yesterday's trading session also decreased by 2 to 3 percentage. While index options they were net sellers by 390 odd crores, stock futures net sellers by 348 odd crores, and stock options net buyers by 34 odd crores only. On the market level, our five days we have stands at 8,200 uh, with a lower range at 8,200 and higher range at 8,300. SDX Nifty has been trading positive, it's up by around 11 odd points and scoring at 8,215, indicating some kind of inflat is to uh, positive opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Now friends, let's discuss trading ideas for the day. First trading idea for the day is KEC International, current market price 134. K International Bank will order worth uh, 1040 crores uh, in, our, in cable, railway and transmission business. Uh, this is positive development happening for KEC International, it, it continues to back, keep on bagging uh, decent orders. Uh, action to be taken is long, KEC International stop loss is placed at 130, we will be targeting levels of 139 and 142. Now friends, moving on to news update front, uh, Sun Pharma board me, uh, is going to meet today to consider buyback of shares. Infi Beams uh, unit NISM Infi, in, uh, Infinium to invest from 60 crores in Avenues India. Uh, NTPC is going, out, uh, going to come out with an offer for sale. Uh, government to offer 2.06 crore shares to employees of NTPC at a price of 115.9 per share. Cabinet decides to withdraw drugs, uh, drugs and cosmetic uh, amendment bill 2013. Reliance Power terminates power purchase pack for Talia uh, UMPP as per agencies. Uh, Golden Tobacco gets a tax demand notice recovery of principal. Uh, government approves amending pact with Belgium on double taxation avoidance. IMF cuts a US growth outlook to 2.2% from earlier guidance of 2.4%. Uh, it says that our dollar is overvalued by 10, 10 to 20%. Cabinet clears a tech for spectrum auction. Government set to garner around 5.6 lakh crores. Government announces 6,000 crore package for textile sector. Uh, Maharashtra FDA sends uh, popular powder uh, drug samples uh, for another round of testing. JNJ's baby powder, HUL, Ponds, ITC shower to shower samples have been collected. Uh, jewelry exports have jumped 25% in April May after 5 years of subdued demand. Reliant Communication gets not to launch 4G services. Asian uh, Granado releases 1.7% promoter uh, stake by AB Finance. McNally Bharat creates pledge of 3.15% of uh, shares cap to SKS FinCap as a loan security. Gujarat Industries uh, uh, turns up successful bidder in an e-reverse auction for a 40 megawatt solar power project. Update on uh, India Bull Real Estate uh, Singapore Ram. It's uh, arm completes acquisition of uh, proprietary. It uh, uh, completes acquisition of property investment trust. Further update on uh, Lupin. Uh, US FDA approval. Uh, Lupin gets US FDA approval for Activia generic from its indoor facility. Indoor facility was last inspected in last fiscal uh, with no observations uh, from US FDA. This is positive development for Lupin as it will further trans, uh, strengthen its presence in oral contraceptive market in US. Gale awards 550 crore contracts for Uja Ganga uh, pipeline project. Bharti Airtel completes acquisition sale of uh, Burkina Faso arm to Orange. Friends, further moving on to stocks with positive and negative bias. Uh, stocks with uh, positive bias for the day are HDI, Lupin, and Whole India and stocks with negative bias are Infratel India, Jet Airways and Arvind Limited. Stocks for investment which can be suggested to long term investors, BEM at 1265, HGFC at 1172, Maruti at 4151, Hindustan Unilever at 859 and Sun Pharma at 714.
फ्रेंड्स दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम एडवाइजरी डेस्क है वो ऑन फूडी है